Good afternoon, everyone. It's Izzy here. And today I'm doing uh, another uh, project. This, this is a little bit difficult, uh, more difficult. I wanted to basically show, because I was doing research, and honestly, in a lot of the YouTube videos, I didn't see where they would explain things um, extremely clearly. You know, they, it wasn't very clear. So I figured, you know what, since I'm doing the job, I might as well try and uh, help people uh, you know, show them how to um, diagnose and hopefully do the repair where they'll save a lot of money, you know? Okay, so with no further ado, um, I already went ahead and took the, um, okay, first of all, what we're working on is the, uh, the trim, the, uh, the trim tab, or the trim, uh, the tilt, I'm sorry, not the trim, the tilt of the my out drive, okay? It's got two cylinders. And from non-use, uh, what happened was the cylinders, they seized up. The, you know, water, you get water contamination. Anyways, they seized up. They went bad. I bought new ones, okay, because they, they were just unrepairable. Um, I bought new ones. But before you put the new ones on, of course, you want to make sure that the uh, system is working. Mine wasn't working because of uh, lack of use. Okay, so um, this is not... A very easy job, you know. If you're like, if you have no mechanical skills, I wouldn't suggest you uh, you you tackle this job. But if it is, you know, if you have some mechanical ability, um, it's not that hard. Okay, so uh, just pay attention, follow along, and you'll see. Anyways, uh, basically, uh, okay. And what I wanted to mention is is if you can't remove, if you can't figure out how to remove the uh, tilt trim motor, you know, assembly from the boat, give it to a mechanic to do and don't get involved because I could tell you that the easiest part is, is, is getting the motor assembly out. The hard part is the part I'm going to show you, okay? So with no further ado, here we go, okay? I'm going to try and uh, cover everything. So let's see how this goes, okay? So basically, I set up a little workshop out here in my backyard because my garage can't even move in the thing. But anyways, this is the uh, tilt motor assembly, okay? And basically, there's uh, three screws that go on this side, three screws go on this side, okay? Held held down inside the uh, inside the boat, okay? So you basically take the thing out, and you, I, I wanted to be able to see and work, you know, in an upright position rather than bent over, you know, slouched over the engine. So, um, so, so, okay, so this is, um, this is basically how it goes. You have ground, okay, so let's start first by me telling you the, the, there's two uh, hoses here, right here, two hoses here. One is up and one is down. You see, it's even marked up, down, okay? All right, then you have these wires. Now, the, the wires, you should have a schematic. Um, you should have a schematic uh, in the... Um, in your manual, if you have a manual, or you could Google it for that matter. But anyways, it's just a simple schematic of the electrical system. I'm going to explain to you basically how the electrical system works, how everything works. So once you understand that, and that's the part that people don't uh, explain to you, but once you, um, you understand that part, then, then the whole thing really becomes very easy. Okay, so basically what I did was... I put power, and you can see the little pinch here. But anyways, you pinch into this. Um, if you have a power probe, I have a power probe. Here, I'll show you. I have a power probe, okay? But if you don't have a power probe, you can take a, a wire, you know, a, a wire, and just somehow feed power to it, okay? All right, so what you do is you feed power to this. If you hear the, the motor turn, then you know the motor's good. The problem that I was having is the following, okay? So here's, here's how this works. So I'm gonna try and do this with one, uh, one hand, okay? So basically, what we're gonna do is there's a cover here, okay? Now, understand that you have to disconnect. The, another reason why I took everything apart is because uh, power, these power wires, okay, which is, um, you know, red for positive and, and black, this black that goes here, that goes here is, is ground, okay? Um, you make sure that that's disconnected because when you touch this wire, this screw here, 
to take this little cover off. If you have power to it, you're gonna get, uh, you, can, you, can short the, you can short it out. So let me, let me loosen this screw up, hold on. I'm trying to do this one handed, it's hard. Okay, so you take this little cover off. Now, mine broke because when I was on the boat, I didn't realize, <laughs> I didn't realize that that, uh, I thought, I didn't know that there was a screw there. I thought that that was just like popped on type of thing. Okay, so here, this is what we have. This is uh, a black, this black wire is the ground to the motor. Then you have one hot, this green one is for the down, and this one is for the up, okay? So basically what this does is when you feed power to the green one, the motor turns in one direction, let's say uh, clockwise, and pushes fluid to the down position, okay? And um, when you put power to the green wire, then it turns the motor the uh, counterclock, you know, counterclockwise or vice versa. Either way, you, you know, you, you get the drift. It basically turns it either one way or the other, and that's how you get up and down functionality, okay? All right. That's controlled here by these two solenoids. Now, these solenoids, they're both the same. This one and the one at the very bottom here are the same, okay? So it's just a matter you could buy two of them if you're going to replace them. Um, okay, so the big, the big thing here is this, is the, is the following, okay? So this is what I have to explain. That's a little tough to explain, but I'm going to try and see if you guys can get it, okay? So here, the power comes in here. Now, I already know what the problem is with my, uh, I already know what my problem is because I, I already checked it out before I did this video. So, but I just want to go through it, okay? Basically, it's this. On boats, you always have what they call corrosion problems, okay? And as you can see, there's a lot of corrosion. This, um, this little red uh, block here is also a fuse, okay? Now, what happens is the way this works is if there's lead inside, okay? And when this bolt, if there's a short in this system, this thing will heat up so hot that basically the lead will melt and that's how you get, uh, that's how you get, the, the power will stop, and once the power stops, of course, it just keeps it from burning up, okay? So, what happened was, I checked continuity from here to here, and I get no continuity, meaning that there's an open here for some reason. But I took it apart, and the open, it's not that the piece is bad, it's that there's corrosion. So, what I did was, I, uh, I cleaned it up, you know, I cleaned it up, and now I have power going to here. Okay, so basically what it does is once you have power coming to this terminal, it feeds. There's a block here. You see this little block here? So it feeds power to this. So it, it feeds power to this solenoid, the one on the bottom, and it feeds power to this solenoid, the one on the top. Okay, so you have down, up. Okay, so what happens is, is when you... This is basically ground. So all these grounds are connected together here. You can see ground connected here and ground connected down here, okay? So basically, uh, what you do is when you feed power, you see this blue wire down back here? I don't know if you can see that. That blue wire connects to here, to this, this, uh, this port, okay? All right, so how does it work? You see this, this, there's a fuse in here. You have to check this fuse. So what happens is, there's power here all the time, okay? Goes through this fuse, loops around, and comes to over here, right to here, all right? So what it does is basically this. This one is for the down, okay? To the down solenoid, there's a wire that's connected here, and the same thing on the bottom. So what happens is, is when there's a harness that connects to this here, and it goes over to the, um, to the uh, tilt uh, switch on the shifter, you know, on, on your shifter on, in the boat. So what happens is the red wire, this one, this comes out through here, sends power to the uh, shifter. So when you hit, for example, up, power goes through the switch, sends it back down through the wire, which in this case would be blue, sends the power uh, back here, back to this solenoid here, makes contact inside here. You know, there's a little solenoid, 
pushes up on it and allows the power to jump from here to here. Thus coming this way and going into the motor and causing the motor to wind, okay? And then that's how that works, okay? So guys, basically what, I, what the whole thing here is, the whole issue is, is that if you don't use this, over time you get corrosion, just from sitting, even from sitting, even if you don't use it, you use it, whatever. So the, the, the important thing you have to do here is take it out, take everything. So I'm gonna take everything apart now. I'm gonna clean, I already cleaned this, but I'm gonna take all these connectors, I'm gonna take them and clean them all, every connection on here. And then with my multimeter, and by the way, I wanted to show you this. So here's the multimeter. And I don't know if you guys know how a multimeter works, but basically it's like this. When you touch, sorry, when you touch, hold on a second. When you touch this to this, you hear, you hear that little sound? Okay, so here. When you touch it, zero means there's no resistance. You have resistance because it's open and there you have no resistance, okay? So the way you check it after you clean everything is, for example, you would check, you would check for resistance. Um, you would check resistance from here to here. You would check resistance from here to here. You can check resistance, let's say, from here to this wire. You can check resistance from here to ground. You can check resistance from here to, to ground. You can check each one of these uh, terminals here, you can check them. Okay, so this one you can check, for example, this one you would check from here, I'll show you as a matter of fact. You, you put it there, okay, and you touch it to here. Wait, sorry, not that one, it's this one. I believe it's this one, let me see. Yeah, okay, so you see, you touch this one. Okay, you touch, I'm sorry. You touch this one. Okay, to this one. So this one goes through the fuse and to this one. So what happens is, okay, so let me show you. I wanna show you here. So you go from here, the bottom one, goes around through the fuse and then to here. So if you come here and touch this and you get continuity, you check two things. You check that the connection from here through the fuse, through the wiring to here is good, which is good. Okay, and that has to have power, by the way, because that's what feeds the switch so you can operate the solenoids, okay? So, uh, two things I gotta mention here. Make sure everything is clean, all the connections are clean, and not necessarily, like in my boat, when I would put power, you know, hit the switch, I would hear click, click, and then I would hit the bottom, click, click, but I would get nothing at the motor. Why? Because the most important thing, power here was not getting through the power was not getting through. In other words, I didn't check, I failed to check to see, I know I had power here, but I, I failed to check to make sure that there was power here, okay? So guys, I hope this really helps you, you know. Um, basically, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take everything apart, and then what I'm gonna try and do, I'm gonna put the phone down because it's getting lengthy. I'm gonna uh, put the phone down, and then I'm gonna show you when everything is cleaned up, uh, I'll, 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 we'll continue, okay? So for now, um, actually, I'm gonna just go ahead and say this is gonna be part one, and then I'm gonna do a second part where I show you the, the unit all cleaned up and ready to go, and then the installation back into the boat. I could basically show you uh, how it goes back in the boat, okay? So with that being said, have a, a uh, great weekend, um, and, uh, and that's it. Take care, all right? Any uh, questions or comments, make sure you leave them down below. Um, and if you want, subscribe to my channel. And also, if you find it helpful, I mean, it would be helpful to me is if you uh, like the thing, you know, but uh, I really don't care if you like it or not. But at any rate, uh, have a great weekend. All right, take care. Bye.